Hey, hey, hey. Oh, I'm back. It's so good to see you. Oh, I love you. I wish I could be there with you. I tell you what. Welcome back. I am the good brother, Reverend of Cheese. I am here just to continue on at part two of the series of the sermon. Why is this cheese so expensive? <laughs> now, you may be asking yourself, good brother, Reverend, why, why are you so sarcastic when you talk like that? Well, I used to be a cheesemonger. I still count myself as a cheesemonger as I still sell cheese. And that's a big question that we get all the time. Why is this cheese so expensive? If you see in the first video in the series, you understand that I went through the whole misconception of value. Um, but to break it down even further for you, of course, I've got my four categories, farmstead, artisanal, industrial, processed. We are focusing today on farmstead. So why really is farmstead cheese a little bit more expensive? I'm gonna get into that for you, explain it for you. So farmstead means that there's a farm, of course, it's right there in the name, but only the milk from the animals that are on that farm are used to make the cheese that's made on that farm that is then aged on that farm. So you see what happens here is there's no outside influences that could damage, hurt, or otherwise uh, mess with the integrity of the cheese that's made on that farmstead establishment. So that, that just says that that farmer has control over how those animals eat. Now I say animals, of course, cow, goats, or sheep, even the buffalo that make good cheese. But usually farmstead cheeses are generally going to be you know, pasture fed. They, those cows go out and get to eat some grass, walk around, and enjoy life, typically. And then they get to, and those animals are treated so well, so well and so loved because they produce delicious milk to make good cheese. But what that means, too, is there's a sense of terroir that's coming from that land. Now, I know that sounds like a fancy word. It's French. Just because it's French doesn't mean it's fancy. It's just a word. But terroir is the flavor of the place. So these, these herd masters, they, they tend to their pastures in a way to make sure that they're eating the right grasses, that those animals are gonna be able to digest and produce good milk, whether it's gonna help produce a little bit more fatty milk, you know, to make good luscious cheese, it's all there. But there's complete control over what those animals eat, how they're treated. And then of course, once that milk comes into, uh, into, in, into being made, it's all made there on the farm hands-on, and of course there's machines now. We do live in 2020, even though this year's kind of plum thumbs down. But we live in the future, so there are machines that help out, but a lot of the work is done with hand, done made by hand, and also just controlled by families. They may have just one, two, three to five employees, you know, to help them out. It's not a big, glamorous production. They're not doing it to get rich. Everybody thinks, oh, this cheese is so expensive, they just must be rich. I don't know about you, but I've never seen a farmer, unless, it, unless it's a wedding or a funeral, dressed up. Okay? They're not walking around making it rain $100 bills because, quite honestly, they're not in it for the money. They're in it to make a great quality product for you to enjoy. It just happens to cost so much to go into the quality. And again... If you set your standards where they should be, which is a little bit higher, then you won't think the cheese is expensive. You'll know that the value is in the quality. Oh, it's been so lovely to talk to you today again. So just remember your farmstead cheese, that's your upper echelon, okay? Now, if you want to think of it like in a bar or with alcohol, I've been known to indulge a little bit myself. Now, to, to make comparisons, You've got top shelf, premium, so to speak, your well brands, okay? Now down here, process, have you guys ever had Boone's Farm, Strawberry Hill, or Mad Dog 2020? <laughs> That's equal to processed cheese. That's what you don't want. It's going to give you a headache and make you feel bad. Farmstead, not everybody can be a farmstead. That's your top upper echelon. Now wait for me. For my next video, remember, subscribe, like, share, comment, even hit that bell. 
icon. I'm going to love you if you do. Stay with me for the next video, and we're going to tell you all about artisanal cheeses.